Welcome back YouTubers, this is Omar from Near Mint Condition and today I'm going to do an overview of the new Omnibus Wolverine Goes to Hell and how it ties into the Wolverine by Jason Aaron and Wolverine and the X-Men. So stay tuned! If you watch my video on the comprehensive reading order of X-Men oversized hardcovers and omnibuses, you know by now that Marvel doesn't like to publish things in chronological order or even number them sometimes, which is the case here. So. What this book really is, is probably what I consider volume two of the Jason Aaron Wolverine run, which started with Wolverine by Jason Aaron, this omnibus right here that was not numbered. It's just called Wolverine by Jason Aaron. That's it. This right here really should be volume two and ending with volume three, which is Wolverine and the X-Men, both great runs. But let's talk about this book and how it fits in, what's missing from it. And if you really need the other books to enjoy this. So let's first look at what's on the inside. This is inside the dust jacket. And what this collects, by the way, is Spider-Man and Wolverine one through six. That's the mini series. That was the one that was drawn by Adam Kubert. And the Wolverine ongoing series. This is the Adam Kubert Spider-Man mini series. Where if you remember the character of Dog from Origin, the original Origin by Paul Jenkins and Joe Quesada and Andy Cooper, he kind of makes an appearance here, which leads into his appearance in Wolverine and the X-Men. And it collects the ongoing series, 1 through 20, which is where Wolverine Goes to Hell starts off. Issues 300 to 304, that's when they decided to go back to the legacy numbering system. Don't worry, there's another relaunch that will happen later on. Uh, material from the Wolverine, the Road to Hell. So let's look through here really quick while I talk about this. Jason Aaron's Wolverine is probably one of my top Wolverine runs. Of course, I'm a big... Okay, this is the Wolverine Goes to Hell story. I'm not, not going to try to flip through too much to give away spoilers. But yes, Wolverine Goes to Hell because he's sent there by the Red Hand. While he's in Hell, of course, he has to fight off these demons. And his soul is the one that goes to Hell, while his body has kind of started fighting some of his X-Men. So this second story arc is called Versus the X-Men. And when he finds out who it is, it's called Revenge. And that kind of wraps up that story arc. And this also, by the way, collects Schism 1 through 5, the miniseries. So if you own that oversized hardcover or you own that trade paperback, you no longer need it. And what's really cool about this is that you really don't need the Volume 1 of Jason Aaron to enjoy it. Um, it does harken back to some stories, like the Manifest Destiny miniseries is brought up again in one of the storylines here, but, I mean, honestly, you don't really need it. It goes, it harkens back to some Grant Morrison stuff that he did, and some stuff from X-Force by Remender. Most of the material in this book was done by Renato Guedes, who did issues 1 through 20, most of them. And then by the time we get to Schism, there's Dog, spoilers, not spoilers, because I already said that he came back, and it's Kid Omega, which, of course, you can't have a story without Quentin Quire. Jason Aaron's a huge fan. And by the time you get to Schism, you have different artists on it. You have Adam Kubert again, you have Paul Pelletier, Carlos Pacheco, I think even Alan Davis draws one of them, if I'm not mistaken. And... It's pretty cool because if you read Schism and only read Schism when Wolverine and Cyclops fight, you kind of don't know where his mentality came from, why he is thinking the way that he is, but it's all explained in here. So I thought that was really cool, and this is the stuff by Ron Garney. There's also, I think Frank Cho draws some of this stuff. There's more Geddes. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Billy Tan jumps in and helps too. There's a lot of artists. And honestly, this book is really really good and it stands alone which is probably why this is called ghost to hell instead of jason aaron volume 2 man like i mentioned in my previous video of x-men because they also want to sell copies uh the only thing that i can say okay let's look at this and then i'll tell you what's missing spider-man's story was okay i think that's probably the weakest story within this omnibus here's some scripts not inked artwork by adam kubert inked yeah, just your typical extras that you get in the back. Some Renato get his sketches here. Yeah, it's awesome. And then uh, some redesigns of Sabretooth by Adam Kubert. And 
uh, layouts for the pages. Always enjoy this extra stuff. I'm not sure if anybody else does. Some uncolored artwork. That's Ron Garney. The only thing that I'm disappointed in that they did not include in this collection was this right here. The first six issues of Amazing X-Men where he goes to the underworld to retrieve his friend Nightcrawler. This is drawn by Ed McGinnis and it's written by Jason Aaron. It's available in trade paperback. By the way, the Jason Aaron Wolverine run is available in four complete collections is what they're called. The Wolverine by Jason Aaron complete collections volumes one through four. But it also doesn't contain this. So unfortunately he only wrote the first six issues and they could not sneak it into this omnibus for some reason. So, if you want to get more Jason Aaron Wolverine, you'll have to go and get X -Men, Amazing X-Men Volume 1. But that's it. Other than that, I think this omnibus is perfect. It's a standalone, or if you really, really are a completist, I would get Volume 1, and you can enjoy this so much more. Let me show you this again. This is pretty cool. And that's it. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching this overview. Like I said, the only thing that's missing is this amazing X-Men Volume 1. Just six issues, and they were drawn by Ed McGinnis. I don't think this is the greatest jumping on point. It is also not my favorite Wolverine run. By far, that goes to Mark Silvestri and Larry Hama. But it is a phenomenal story written by a great writer and wonderful talent on art. And I think it can be enjoyed by anybody, whether you've read volume one of Wolverine, Jason, Aaron, or Wolverine and the X-Men. Anybody can jump into this and enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching. Again, this was Omar. If I missed anything, please leave the comments down below. If you like to keep seeing these, please also leave a comment down below. I love doing overviews, especially if they're about my X-Men. If this is your first time watching this show, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you actually enjoy the content. Don't forget to check out our weekly show that usually comes out on Thursdays where we talk about geeky stuff like anime, video games, manga, comic books, collected editions, and toys. And also don't forget to check out our new segment called Old Reader, New Readers. It's where I go back and reread something and two of my friends go and read it for the first time. Next Tuesday on May 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go live with a video talking about Green Lantern Rebirth by Jeff Johns and Ethan Van Skyver. So we'd love if you all join us for a live chat. Thank you and have a great day.